Let me ask you something. Have you ever been insulted by somebody else because of the way you were dressed or about your style? And it's interesting because when someone says that you're not stylish or they don't like what you're wearing, it almost seems like a personal attack because your style is part of who you are. Individuality lies at the heart of personal style. Just as no two people are exactly alike, our style choices allow us to stand out from the crowd and present ourselves as our own individual. Now, some guys are gonna prefer a more polished and refined aesthetic, while other guys might go for more of a laid back and casual vibe. And whether we find inspiration from, say, current fashion trends, or maybe we draw some inspiration from people that we see on TV or even on social media, our personal style should reflect who we are. And for me personally, I always like using the term polished casual to describe my own style. Personal preference is the power that shapes our style. It's why we choose certain colors and certain patterns and certain silhouettes. And every one of us has unique taste. And it's through that personal preference that we end up building a wardrobe that resonates with us. So by embracing our own preferences, we're not only being authentic, but there's also a sense of the self-confidence and self-assurance in the way that we present ourselves to the world. As men, the clothes we wear paint a picture of who we are. But it's critical to remember that style is ultimately just a matter of personal preference. And not everyone has the same exact preferences. Because even though you might think you're totally dialed in with the outfit that you're wearing that day, you could walk out of the house and somebody else could perceive the exact opposite because they don't have the same preferences. And it's like food, all right? So for me, I hate mushrooms and I hate the smell of cooking mushrooms, but you might love mushrooms and can't get enough of them. The traditional concept of masculinity has been typically associated with this expectation of really limited fashion choices for men. Why? Because men shouldn't care about clothes. However, that's BS, you know it's BS, Times are changing, and they already have changed. And modern fashion allows men to be able to embrace a huge wide range of styles in order to express their own personalities a lot easier. So think about floral print shirts in the summer. A lot of men in this age bracket might consider something like that a feminine choice. I think the way I look at it is it's a confident choice. And the boundaries of what's considered acceptable in men's fashion are constantly being pushed. So embracing all of our own personal preferences allows all of us to challenge those old stereotypes and encourage a more open-minded approach to style. So when you wear clothes that align with your personal preferences, you feel more comfortable and you feel more relaxed. And this comfort radiates outwards and it boosts your confidence and it also influences how you interact with the world around you. And let's not forget, that confidence is infectious and it 100% impacts both your personal and your professional lives. So by embracing your own style, you not only present an authentic version of who you are, but you also inspire other people around you to embrace their own unique style preferences. As human beings, we naturally form judgments based on visual cues. We all do it. And clothing is just a big area for judgment. And the way we dress can send subconscious messages to other people, which then allows them to make assumptions about our social status, our interests, and even our professionalism. But it's critical to remember that perception isn't truth. It's more of a collection of biases and preconceived notions because what might seem stylish and appealing to one person might appear completely different to somebody else. Every single one of us has our own distinct personality. And our style just offers a very simple way to showcase that. And the clothes we wear can also act as a visual representation of who we are. Now, one person might feel the most comfortable in say a business suit that projects professionalism and sophistication. But at the same exact time, somebody else might gravitate towards, I guess a more casual and relaxed look that might signal to other people comfort and practicality. And the number of possibilities is endless and it's up to you to find a style that displays who you are as closely as possible. And for this audience specifically, as we grow and change, our taste and our preferences also change. And what we considered stylish when we were a lot younger probably isn't gonna resonate the same with us today. So understanding and embracing the 
evolution of your personal style allows you to adapt, explore new fashion choices, and express yourself through all the different stages of your life. And listen, for the record, we're not over here curing cancer. We're just talking about clothes. But when we dress in a way that we feel good about, it impacts our mood and our self-confidence and our overall well-being. It's almost like a little form of self-care that allows us to express our own creativity, boost our own self-esteem, and our self-image. And of course, because I know somebody will comment, but when I make certain videos talking about, say, out-of-date clothes or things that are out of style or don't wear this, it's not done to call anybody out or piss anybody off. It's done for several reasons. First and foremost, most guys will admit to not knowing that much about style and how to make age-appropriate choices with the clothes that they wear. So my videos are just a way to help cut right through the BS and simply say, don't wear this. Because I would say most guys, if you're anything like me, don't want anything sugar-coated. We just want to know what to do so we can get on with it. Now, the other reason is just for general entertainment and education. So when I say, don't wear this, I generally follow that up with something to wear instead. And again, look, I'm trying to get straight to the point when I make videos like that to not only say, don't do this, because now that's insinuating that there's a problem, but also to provide a solution to that problem. Because if something's broken, we just want to fix it. So listen, ultimately, personal style is a matter of choice. It's the freedom that we all have to express ourselves. And we should all be able to make our own clothing decisions without judgment. And if sometimes it appears that I'm being judgmental in my videos about what not to wear, please keep in mind that I'm also making videos for people who have never even seen me before. And a lot of guys do understand that the clothes they wear might be out of style. So they search, they come on YouTube, trying to find a fresh perspective from someone in their age bracket. You might not think so, but the clothes we wear is a very deep and personal aspect of our lives as men. And a lot of guys say that the clothes you wear shouldn't matter. And you're right, they really shouldn't, but they absolutely do. And by evolving our style over time and recognizing the impact of style, we can use it to our advantage and create opportunities for ourselves that we might otherwise not even have. So keep evolving and try not to get stuck in a rut. And listen, if you enjoyed this little rant video today, please consider subscribing if you're not already. And as always, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Live well, and I'll see you in the next one.